Hey everybody. So here's a quick look inside the Dell Inspiron 15 3000 laptop. I think that's what this is. But um, so this laptop is practically brand new. It's from 2022. The reason why it's in is because it came pre-installed with Windows 11 Home and S mode. And of course, the only real way to get out of it, I mean, according to Microsoft, is to use a Microsoft account to get out of S mode. But the thing is, um, apparently that S mode will follow to a clean install of Windows. So I decided, you know what, what the heck, let's open this thing up and pull the M.2 SSD out. And I got it plugged up over on the computer Plexi and we're in the process of doing a clean install of Windows 11 on the Windows 11 test rig that way I can just um, once it gets to the OOB I'll shut it down and just clone that SSD right there to that SSD pop back in here and see what it does because I, I tried to do a clean install on this thing directly and I was getting some sort of error message so anyways I figured since I had to cover off this thing I'd give you guys a look inside this thing so Again, 2022 laptop that came pre-installed with Windows 11 Home and S mode. The laptop, however, is not terribly bad. You know, guys, I've been pretty critical of a lot of these newer laptops from brands like HP and some Dells as well. Um, but this one here, so once you get this bottom cover off, you end up getting easy access to your memory. You can see we have one bank available. I think this one right here is a um, is eight gigabytes of DDR4. Here's our Wi-Fi card right there. Our M.2 SSD goes right there, and this can accept a full 2280 drive. And also, we can put a two and a half inch SATA SSD or hard drive in this thing. So if you need the extra space and you want an additional drive aside from the M.2 SSD this laptop has you covered you can you can actually install a uh, two and a half inch SATA drive in this thing and they include of course the drive cage and they give you the cable as well this is taped in there so should you want to install a uh, second SSD or a hard drive in this thing it's ready to go so here we have an active cooling system. This ain't like those HP machines where you just had a plate. Now this one here has an Intel i5 in it. Um, not exactly sure which one, but I noticed when I had just shut it down, it was pretty warm back here. So it's safe to say this thing definitely needs active cooling. So have your motherboard right here, which is not much bigger than a three and a half inch hard drive. It's pretty small. You got the battery right here, and I know at least one of y'all going to be like, yeah, you should have unplugged that battery before you took the SSD out, but anyway. Over here we have our this little daughter board. This is where the adapter gets plugged in. Got a USB port there. Looks like a card reader there. And on the other side we have two USB Super speeds. Then we got an HDMI. Wait a second. Oh, that's a headphone jack. I was like, wait a second. The jack, the AC jack is over here. Or the uh, adapter jack is over here. That would make more sense. I have it on the motherboard. So, and of course, got the uh, lipo pouch, cell battery. It's a three cell. Looks to be. Um. 11.25 volt nearly 3.5 amp hour so yeah it's a town of Miller Road um, now of course a lot of 6 cell 18650 packs their capacities would be like 4400 milliamp hour if we got our two cells in parallel uh, 3s 2p packs but uh, anyway these newer laptops are very energy efficient so they do still last a long time on a charge but I'm still I'm just not a fan of having the battery internal to the machine 
I much prefer being on the outside, the way it's easy to pull out and replace. So anyways, yeah, this is a look inside this laptop, in case y'all are wondering what the inside of a year 2022 consumer-grade Dell laptop looks like. I mean, it's an Inspiron, so it's it's a consumer-grade, it's not a Latitude. Um, I must say, um, although this, this is definitely nothing compared to what Dell was um, putting out back, let's say, in 2008, like, for example, the Inspiron 1525, but this is definitely not that bad. Um, I do like the fact you can take this panel off and you have access to a lot of the important things like, of course, the RAM, the CPU cooler. Now, of course, the CPU is soldered on this one, I do believe. Um, of course, you have access to your M.2 drive. You have the ability to expand your storage with a 2.5-inch drive, if you wish. And, of course, the battery's right there. So, yeah. And that's what you get with at least a newer consumer grade Dell laptop. It's it's definitely better than <laughs> what I've seen from some other brands of recent years. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we get notified of new video posts. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Cube Comp MTDX. Over there, you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your support.